My name is Lynn Rogers, and I'm the director of the Neuroplasticity Lab at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. My research looks at movement and motor control. I use non-invasive brain stimulation techniques and try to help develop better ways to recover lost motor function. Outside of research, I have been a marathoner. I've done a number of different triathlons. I was about to do Ironman Canada, so I was in the best shape I would have been all year, right leading into that moment where my system decided to change the game. I noticed first that my hands were tingling. Um, the next day, my feet went numb, and I would be paralyzed from the chest down by later that day. My eventual full diagnosis would be CIDP, and what that is, is a chronic form of Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS. About half of individuals with CIDP don't go back to work. Many are still in wheelchairs. Very, very few are able to run. My, my lab was still being unpacked. There were things in cardboard boxes when I was moving into the other side of the floor as a patient. Some part of me just said no, saying no to anything other than building things up and towards where I wanted to go. If I thought training was important before, this is for my life. And so being in the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, I had the coaches, I had the team, that was set. We started using the harness support and using what's called an alternate gravity treadmill to lift my body weight up. Taking those first few steps on those assisted treadmills solidified the idea of, I, I can do this. I can make this happen. I can do this. This experience has given me the power to understand our patients. And for me, that has set up greater information, greater amount of understanding to bridge the gaps that exist to getting the very best technology, the very best research and the very best recovery tools to our clinicians and to our patients. Running is where I started, so running is where I'm starting again. I'm running in the Chicago Marathon because there are a lot of people with this disease that are either told that they can't or believe that they can't. And so, to, to hear my family yelling on Roosevelt Hill, to hear them cheering me on, and to know that I just have to make it up that last little bit and around the corner and turn left and see that finish line. I think of people who have very little hope for what they think is possible. This is one possibility. Running a marathon with CIDP is a possibility. Anything is possible. We just have to reach for it.